welcome to Ekideo. We are a trained future civil and structural engineer. My name is Justice Umaka. I am your instructor. Today, I will be showing you how to insert a side pole line in Plutar structure. And also, as you can see, that this is a warehouse building design, as you can see that. And also, we did the part one of this warehouse modeling. So if maybe you have missed the video or you are a new, or you are a new subscriber, I will say check on the link down below and then watch the video on how we modeled this warehouse building to this very stage. Okay, so I'm using Prota Structure 2022 version, as you can see there. And also, it is a registered license version. And also, it is also a shared version. So if in case you need this software Prota Structure, I would say that you should just inbox me and then you can take um, part of my shared version because I can share to multiple people because I bought an enterprise version. Okay, so right now, as you can see, I want to um, show you guys how to insert a side pull line, as you can see, in portal structure. And this warehouse also, we have also inserted a side cladding, as you can see that. So, but, I, but for this video, I want to show you how to insert a side pole line. Okay, so let's begin right now on how to insert a side pole line in Prota Structure 2022. Okay, so right now, I'll just um, um, go here right now first. Let me just show you what is called a side pole line first. So if I go to my view, to my, to my display, and then turn off my, this, my cladding, and then just to show you um, a side pole line, what you're going to learn by the end of this video. Okay, so right now, this is what we call a side pole line, as you can see that. This side pole line is and helps to um, carry what they call, um, to carry, it, it, it helps to carry the roofing sheet that is meant to be placed on this side of this, of this warehouse. So without these side pole lines, that's, um, that roofing sheet will not be able to um, to stand or stay on this steel structure. Okay, so right, let me just go and turn it back on the side, the the cladding or the roofing sheet. Just call it cladding. Okay, so before we start, I will say that if you are new to Ekidel and you have not subscribed to our channel Ekidel, I will say that you should click on the subscribe button and then so that you don't miss all our videos that we will be uploading because here on Ekidel, we try to train future civil and structural engineer. Okay, so let us get started right now for the instruction or how to create a side pole lines. Okay, so to create a side pole line, First of all, I'll take off this other one which I have here. So I'll just click on the one which I just created right now and then delete the one which is there already. So I'll just delete the one which is there already. So then delete this one also. Now, if your portal steel or your portal uh, or your portal steel is not working, I will say that then you have a wrong version of portal structure because for a good version of portal structure, you must not encounter any issue inserting any kind of steel members or even using your Prota steel. Okay, so to get the real version, either you go to Prota Structure website and get it from the company directly, or you look for who has a shared version and then they can be able to share to you. So if you need this software, I will say that you can inbox me and I will um, give you that but oh, it's not for free because i got it over two thousand five hundred dollars but i will be able to um since it's the shared version i'll be able to um give you a good discount okay so right now to so, um insert the side pull line right now in portal structure the first thing to do is to go to your model in here and then go to your steel members and then go to your you can see that we have pole lines. The pole lines here is for the top one here. And why this grid, this one that that's this one here, this gates is for the side pole lines. So right now I'll click on this one right now, gates. And then I will now click on any of the two columns. So if I want my side pole line to be between these two columns, this and this, 
I will have to um, click on these two C columns and I'll click on this right now and then click on this right now and wait for it to show me uh, or to prompt um, this dialog box right now. So on this dialog box right now, the first thing I want to do is to remove my SAG rods because I don't want SAG rods on my side pole lines. This SAG rod is only useful majorly in at the top um, pole lines, which is the which is the one carrying those which is which which is basically at the roof although most times most most people still use it on the side pole line but me i don't like i don't like using it so right now go here right now and then you can just take off this this um sag rod just now and then come back to my geometry on my geometry right now you have to choose the size of your uh, of your side pole lines so i'll go here right now basically i want to use upn 100 but this is just to show you how to choose your um the size of the size of the steel for your pole lines so right now when you click when you click on this place to choose the steel section of the side pole line i would say you should just hold on for it to show the dialog box because most times okay so let me just hold on for it to show hold on for it to show the, the dialog box okay so why wait for that to happen i will say that if you miss the part one of this video i will say you should check on the link down below and watch the part one of this video okay so right now the dialog box for the side pole line is trying to um, sh um come out so let us hold it let's let, let, let hold on for it to um load up okay it's almost loading up Okay, so right now you can see that this is now what we have. I am using the code Euro code, but you can choose to um, click here and then choose any kind of code that you want to use. But for this base, I want to use Euro code. Although most times I used to use UK for my designs, but for this steel design, I want to use Euro code. That's why I'm using Euro. Okay, so right now I'll just go. It is best to use UPN if you're using Euro code. It's best to use UPM for your side pole lines or for your pole lines. So right now, I'll just choose um, this this steel section here, UPN, and then on, on this my UPN right now, it will now prompt me to choose the size of the UPN member. So I will just choose 100 by 100 by 10 or 5 thickness or 8 thickness. So let me wait for it now to show the 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 sizes that I want okay so since it's a upn right now you can see i'll just choose right now we have upn 80 100 120 but i don't want to use a very big size of this upn i'll just go and use 100 so right now basically the size of this upn right now 100 is one is a 100 and the width is 50 and the and the thickness of 8.5 as you can see that so this is all the values this is all these sizes and the cages and all that of this um upn 100 so anyone you choose here you just look at this place to see the um all the all the dimensions okay so right now since i've chosen chosen um, 100 i will now go here and click on what select and then I will now go here right now. There are some things again to tell you here, but this is, I, I, I just want to show you a simple one. There's some times that you have to do a double UPN, but for now, let me just show you a single one. So once you pick that, just go and say, um, okay. Now, once you pick the first, okay, automatically it will pick that section as a default for any other UPN that you are trying to insert. Any other side pole lines that you are trying to insert, okay? So right now, I'll just go here right now and go down. So I want to use my spacing of, that is the spacing of the pole lines be, between the side pole lines. I want to use 800 as my spacing, okay? Then I want the spacing, the spacing between the, between the base of this column and the first pole line should be 1885. Right, so I'll put there the that is the spacing here. Just put an just put an I here. You can see that this place will like shift once I click on any any place now. Okay, so that is it. So right now I have just said that the spacing between this place here and the first pole line is one eight, is is one eight five, and the distance between 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 the pole lines is eight hundred. Okay, so that is all to put this these other ones. I will tell you when to put this right now. Left cantilever and right cantilever. Okay, 
but for now we but for now we don't need this so right now that i have done these two values i'll just go here right now and then click on this place okay automatically it will show on this place now now once we have done the first one automatically any other one that you are going to insert it will pick the value of what you have put on this first one except you want to change the um except you want to change all the values or the parameters of the next one that that maybe you want to insert but if you still want to use the same you just go ahead and then click and then pick and automatically it will just um use the value that you have already set to now insert for the new one so right now you can see that we have just established our first type of line as you can see that when we go to the portal still i will show you how to um how i'll show you how to um perform the steel connection between this side pole line and this column and, and this steel column which basically we are going to use a boat a boat and also a steel plate to also connect um this side pole line and this um steel column together okay but for now we are trying to do the modeling and also the and also the design okay so right now we have just put the first one right now and then we now go to now put the second other pole lines so right now again click on member on sorry on your modeling and then click on this place here and then click on gates right so right now this gate simply means it simply means a side pole line so right now i'll go here and then click on this column and then click on this column and then i'll wait for the it to show the label so since we have already done the first setting you can see that it has picked the settings that we have done before so since we, we still want to use the same setting i will leave everything as default because i've already said this and i'll just go here and click on what okay automatically it will just show there okay so the same thing happens here right now let me do it fast i'll go again right now click, click here and then click here okay click here and then click this column and click this column and then wait for it to show and then just click okay now since that since that option is still highlighted I'll just be going ahead and just be clicking, click here and click on the next column and then go down and click OK. So you can see that we this is how to insert a side pole lines. OK, I'll go again right now and do the same thing here. So I'll do again right now, click on this and click on this. And then again, I'll go again right now and say OK. That's fine. And then again, I'll go again right now and then click on. OK, so right now I don't want you, you, you can see that this side pole lines is trying to show on on this side i want it to show outside and not on this plane i want it to be on this plane here just as these ones are let me just show you just as these other ones are you can see that these other ones they are on the on the front side of this of this um of this um plane so right now i want it also to be not at this other side but on this other side here so what i'll do right now click on the pole lines right now and right click on it and then say properties and then i'll come here just now and then say on that section and i'll click here and say okay automatically it will just change to the next um it will just come to the next plane okay that's fine so you can see how to now modify your pole lines if there is any issue so right now again go here again and click on this okay okay it's already there i'll come again right click click on this place and click on the column here again and then wait for it to show and then click on here and then click here and then look if they are still in conformity on the same plane okay that's fine they are still on the same plane also in our also in our portal still i'll show you how to connect um, how to perform a connection a stick connection when you have on when, when when you are having a double um side pole lines as you can see this is a double side pole line on the same plane i also show you how to, how to connect that together okay so for now again i will still go again right now and then go and now do our last phase of these side pole lines which is this one so i'll come here again now right now click on this and click on this column and wait for that for it to appear and then click on what okay and then look if it is on the same plane which i want it to be which is the outside plane okay so right now it is not on the outside plane so i'll just click on it right now right click and say properties and then change the plane i will come here right now and change the alignment and say on section and then say okay that's fine to come here right now on this other plane that's good okay let's can see that so right now again i will still go again and then click on this place and then click on this locate the column which i want to click and this one here and then say okay okay that's fine now 
let me just keep that fine. So you can now see how we have created our side pull lines for this T structure, for this warehouse T structure. I say again, if maybe you didn't follow up this T structure from the beginning, I would say you check on the link down below and watch the part one of this video where we model this structure up to this very stage. Okay, so you can see how we have created our side pull lines just now. The next thing to do right now is now place our roofing sheet or our or our or our cladding on these side pull lines, which I will show you on the next video. But basically, if you want to know how to use Pota Structure very well, we used to run an online mentorship training where we use Google Meeting, which is a live screen where you will be able to see our screen and we also will be able to see your screen whenever we are training you. So if you are interested to join that training, it is a four months training and we work and, and also the and also the and also the, the the timing is based on your own pace when you are free now what you will learn in our academic mentorship and training is different far far different from what you're learning here because in that mentorship training we will show you the manual and guiding principles on what to on, on the things to consider before performing a design in Put a structure or, or in any kind of software because we will teach you manual design and also software. So if you are interested to enroll for our online mentorship training, I would say that you should check on the link down below and enroll or just check on check below this video and then message us on our on our platform, WhatsApp platform, but it is not free. We charge $300, $300 for that training. So if you are interested, I would say that you should just inbox us and then enroll for this month because there is still space for the for anyone enrolling for this month because every month we used to um um train if we we used to have um new um new new students that we used to train okay so right now we are done with the um with the class for today which is to show you guys how to um how to place your side pole lines so okay so if you have any questions so far about what you have done i would that you drop your comment down below and then we will also reply you as up okay so thank you so much and god bless you we love you and then goodbye